Hey guys! So I'm back again, um, and I have to say, I am so enthused at how many people out there have braces and are over the age of 25. It's really, it's like its own community, and I feel super special to be part of it. <laughs> it's the end of week one, and I'm still alive. I have to tell you, after shooting that first video, literally that evening, um, I started to feel pain underneath my lip. Off the bat, I'm just gonna get right into it. I think I may have experienced more canker sores than usual, because <laughs> when I look up videos and people's um, basically reactions that they get after getting their first braces or their first week of braces, um, they don't always, some people don't even get any sores, it's just their teeth that hurt. But for me, it wasn't even my teeth, it was the sores. So load up on your Orgel if you can. <laughs> Um, I know I went to Orgel um, and I got there, it's like this medicated ointment that it dries on and it creates a coat. My lips, and I'll show you right here, my lips were so inflamed that I literally couldn't speak on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And basically my dental assistant, she saved my life because she, I went into the office on Monday and then she just loaded up a bunch of that ortho wax on my braces and that kind of saved me for the next couple days. So now I'm back and talking, great. Step one, ortho wax is what I recommend. Okay, and then two is Orgel. Um, that medicated ointment that you put over top of your sores if you do get canker sores. Okay, um, three, if you have a water pick, definitely get one. Um, if you don't, no worries, just make sure that you are flossing and you're salt watering after every time you eat. So I'm really happy that I'm not the only one out there that has braces and I'm 25. <laughs> Since getting my braces, there have been a lot of people who actually have been happy they're like oh wow i can't believe you have braces now and i just i just had mine like last year and they're 30 something or even more and i've met someone that was in their 40s once and they had braces so i think adult braces you know the big adult braces um there's a big stigma and people are afraid to get them but then once you have them i have a lot of people who actually compliment me and say you know what kudos to you and they're looking great so i'm really really happy with that support there so just to make this a quick one, um, I'll do another update that goes more in depth of kind of what to expect um, for your first week or how to help handle all those sores. Um, but I have to say, I think I have an actual list here of how many places I have lip chap. And that's another important one I wanna talk about is lip chap. I think I have a lip chap. Okay, so I have Blistex by, no, Nivea by my bedside. A Burt's Bees in my jacket pocket. Burt's Bees in my purse, so they're on the go. Um, I have one from L'Occitane that's in the bathroom. So for after brushing, I, I apply as well. And honestly, I'm really happy I'm actually back in a lipstick now, because um, this whole week I haven't been able to wear any lipstick whatsoever. So. That said, lip chap is a must, at least while you're healing. Don't be the hero and go to work two days after getting your braces with this beautiful flawless MAC Red that you've just put on. It will come off after your first meal or when you start to blow up and your lips like I did. So guys, stay tuned for the next video. I'll have a lot more updates for you um, and just different tips and tricks that you can do while you have your braces. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, embrace life. <laughs> um, and yeah, hopefully we see you next time for our next adventures.